Hi, today we're going to be taking a look at another product from AliExpress. They've sent me this LCR tweezer bridge tester to check out. I didn't pay for this. Okay, so in the box we've got the tweezers, manual, looks to be like a charge cable, type C to USB, and some extra prongs there, okay, let's get the tweezer out, very light, a couple of grams, nice clear bright screen, Let's remove the foam. My satisfying part of the video. Okay, let's connect this to a charger. See what sort of amps it draws, but there's a very, I mean, there's no space in here. So obviously it's a very small battery. So it's not gonna pull very much. Okay, so just using a five volt, two amp charger from my phone, Samsung phone. Plug it in, we get a red charge light and 200 milliamps. So yeah, a phone charger will charge this device, no problem. An LCR meter, so L is for inductances, capacitance and R is resistance. It doesn't measure voltage, so don't try to measure any voltage, you could damage this device. Make sure capacitors are discharged before you try and measure them. Okay, so connecting the probes to my oscilloscope, the device is putting out an AC signal, a sine wave. 1K marked on the, so we can change the frequency on this device, 10K, 10 kilohertz, yes, that's 100. 100 hertz. And then 1K. We can also adjust the voltage. So 0 0.3 volts. And 0 0.6 volts. Okay, so that's what the signal looks like on the oscilloscope. Okay, so on the bench today, I have a power supply for a Philips TV. And as you can see by this IC, which has a big hole on the top, it's not looking very clever. But let's see if we can use this um, meter. We want to check some of the components in this area around the switching IC in case they're also faulty. Um, we need to check the diodes. So we'll take it out of water, resistance, capacitance, inductance, and there's diode mode. Okay, so I've lifted one leg out of the board. And there we go. So 0 0.5, and it shows the direction of that diode, which is correct. So we look at this one here. 0 0.5, and the direction of the diode facing up this time that's also good that also shows the diode good and the direction of the diode so yeah that's a quick and easy test so we we have a 10 10 ohms correct we have one ohm Okay, so that's a thousand milliamps. So this does have much better resolution than my multimeter. My multimeter can't measure milliohms like this. So this will come in handy, especially when I'm doing short finding with the milliohm resolution. Let's find a higher. So here we go. 6.8k on the money obviously capacitance you want to make sure 
capacitor is discharged out of circuit just short the terminals so this is a 1000 microfarad 25 volt And there we go 1.03 millifarad which is a thousand microfarads and we also have RS so this will be your ESR reading 39.5 milliohms this is what I normally use to test my capacitors so obviously I'm just testing the values I'm not able to test the ESR and I also use this multimeter here as well for testing um, capacitors also doesn't have an ESR so that'll come in handy because I come across a capacitor that's the right value maybe a very high ESR it might be a clue let's have a look at inductance so um, that's obviously your coils uh, I've never really bothered about the value of the coils test for continuity if it's continuous it's good but at least now we have that option okay so changing the frequency to 10 kilohertz i end up with a reading of 0.1 micro henry's so i could look up the data sheet for this inductor see if that's accurate okay so uh, what else have we got going on here okay so we've got the beep mode um obviously with these tweezers not being too far apart uh, looking for shorts, I suppose we could just go across the um, caps on the obviously making sure everything is discharged. We could go across caps and we get a we get a reading. This is obviously the processor, so it does beep 0 0.4. Very quick response check these other caps here so obviously if we were looking for a short on the power rails there one four as well so this board does have a shorted power rail probably shorted through the chipset this is just a junk board out of my parts box let's just check for a short from the sense resistor to ground and there you go there's all 0 0.5 ohms okay so a nice and easy nifty little tool to have on the bench obviously you don't have your cables from your multimeter lying around power it on and comes on very quick ready to go i will be finding this useful for the milli ohms i will also be finding this useful for the esr readings on the capacitors if I do need to measure inductors and I have a data sheet to compare I can always confirm and for under 30 euros I think that's well worth the money thank you Aliexpress for sending this to me I definitely will be using this on the bench thanks for watching remember there's always a fix we'll see you in the next one